All right, we are continuing our Hispanic Heritage Month coverage, and Salvadorians are the third largest Latino group in the U.S. after Mexicans and Puerto Ricans. And there's one organization that has made it their mission to celebrate and educate Salvadorian culture. Take a look. It started with thinking and, and saying, you know what, I want to create a space that is living on social media, but not just on social media where we can connect and share memes y toda la onda y bayuncadas, but also to empower our community. All we see on the media is negativity. And if you see around you, left, front, back, right, every way, we are beautiful. Okay, she sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> joining me now is the founder and the president of Salvi's Who Lunch, Cynthia Gonzalez. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Okay, I love the, um, the power in your voice and the... Um, just love and the passion for what you're doing. You, you know, and that's one of the things or a couple of the things that uh, continues giving me that inspiration to move forward. And it starts from when I was a little girl, right? I was born in El Salvador. And this passion, this drive comes from that story of my parents' resilience mm -hmm. of coming here and giving us a better um, a life, a, a different turnaround from what they had growing up in El Salvador, right? So that's where that passion and that love comes from. But I, I love to hear it. I think it's great. Um, let's talk about the organization. So it launched in 2018, right? 2018, oh, yeah. Wow. It, it, it's, so we're in the fifth year already, and it's, everything's just flying. There's so much going on. Of course, there was a pandemic, so that Mm -hmm. uh, set us back a little bit, just like the world entirely. But it started in 2018 out of a simple hashtag, just having lunch with some friends. And then from there, it just took off into gathering folks and sharing details of El, Sa El Salvador and who we are, historical figures. And then people were like, when is an event happening? And that's where we launched the first ever Chevede event that started everything else. So let's talk about that event because that's something that's coming up, right? Yes. Okay. So, so Chevere is focused on art, music, live performances, poetry, and we included a short films program last year. Mm -hmm. And the short films program is so amazing because we get to hear the different stories from different Salvadorians and Central Americans share their life, their their work, and it's beautiful. So Chevere is focused on all the different talents here in LA and sometimes we also invite people from out of state uh, we have vendors we have arts and crafts it's all ages it's a lot of fun and so that's happening November 4th at the LA LGBT Center why is it so important to you to get the word out and make sure people understand your culture you know, as you mentioned, right, we are the third largest Latino Latinx group in the country. And since I was a little girl, I never saw myself represented in books, in media, nowhere else. And every time that I would say, oh, I'm from El Salvador, people would be like, oh, pupusas and the Civil War. <laughs> And so that's the reason why Salvi Solange exists as well. It's let's change that narrative. Let's share that we are more than pupusas in the Civil War because there's so many talents. We're lawyers, we're founders, we're doctors, we're everything in between. And so it's important to share with community and bring this community out and also not only empower them, but educate everyone around us of who we are and that we're so amazing. Yeah, you're way more than, way more than that. <laughs> all yes. of that. Um, speaking of you as a little kid, no, feeling like you didn't have the representation, um, you actually have a kids program. Yes. Okay. So the kids program is called Bichitos and Bichitas Club. And Bichitos means kid in El Salvador and in a lot of countries in Central America. And so we started this idea of uh, we should create something, but we don't know what to create. And a lot of parents, a lot of people that would come to our events, which we've produced over 25 events, they would say, hey, do you have anything that we can, um, you know, include the kids? I, it would be amazing if Salvi Solange can do something. So we decided to create this program that's focused on art, 
culture, music, cuisine, and we're working with different schools in LA to start them young, to start teaching them about who we are. That's great. Yeah. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank I'm so, you so excited much. for your event and all the other events because you guys got a lot. I saw the website. I was on. like, holy moly, <laughs> you're busy. But awesome. thank you so much for joining me. Thank really you. appreciate it. And we're going to put all of this information up on our website, kcalnews.com slash the morning wrap.